Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve the 15th question from CBSE class 10, 2023-24. Sample question paper set 2 for mathematics standard with subject code 041. Section A which is multiple choice questions where each question is of 1 mark. Now this question is from the coordinates geometry chapter. If A 1,2, B 4,3 and C 6,6 6 are the 3 vertices of a parallelogram ABCD, then the coordinates of the fourth vertex D are. So to explain this, let me draw a parallelogram ABCD first. You can see I have drawn a rectangle which is also a parallelogram and I have placed ABCD in order. And the coordinates of D I have considered as X, Y. That is the fourth vertex of the given parallelogram whose coordinates we need to find. Now to solve this example, we are going to make use of the property of the parallelogram. That is, the diagonals bisect each other. So you can see here, I have drawn the diagonal AC from points A to C and diagonal BD from points B to D. Now when we say the diagonals bisect each other, it means it joins at the center point O and the length of AC is divided into two equal halves by the diagonal BD. Similarly, the diagonal BD will be divided into two equal halves by the diagonal AC. So the point O is actually acting as a midpoint of the diagonal AC as well as of the diagonal BD. So let me write here. So here I have written midpoint O of the diagonal AC is equal to the midpoint O of the diagonal BD. And here I have also written the formula for the midpoint that is x1 plus x2 over 2 comma y1 plus y2 over 2. Now when we are finding the midpoint of AC, x1 is going to be 1 and x2 is going to be 6 and y1 is going to be 2 and y2 is going to be 6. So using the same formula, I'm going to find out the midpoint O of AC. So let me write here 1 plus 6 over 2. This is the x coordinate and for y we are going to write 2 plus 6 over 2. So this is the midpoint of AC and this is equal to midpoint of BD. Now when we are considering BD we are going to write here the coordinates of B as x1, y1 and coordinates of D as x2, y2. So let us substitute here so it's going to be 4 plus x over 2 comma now 3 plus y over 2. So this is the midpoint of diagonal PD. Next we are going to equate the x coordinates together that is equating 1 plus 6 over 2 with 4 plus x over 2 to get the x coordinate of D. So here 1 plus 6 is going to be 7. So 7 over 2 is equal to 4 plus x over 2. So you can see on both the sides we have the same denominator so we can just cancel them off. So we are left with 7 is equal to 4 plus x and isolating the x that is taking 4 on the other side of equal to sign we get x is equal to 7 minus 4 which is equal to 3. So we got the x coordinate. Now similarly let us equate the y coordinates that is 2 plus 6 over 2 that is going to be 8 over 2 is equal to 3 plus y over 2. Now again you can see the denominators are same so we can easily cancel them off and we are left with 8 is equal to 3 plus y and isolating y that is taking 3 on the other side of equal to sign we get y is equal to 8 minus 3 which is going to be 5. So we got the values of the x and y coordinate of d that is going to be 3 comma 5. So let us see if 3 comma 5 is in the options. So yes, we have 3 comma 5 as option D. So here to solve this, we have made use of the property of parallelogram. That is the diagonals will bisect each other. And knowing so, we equated the midpoint of the diagonal AC is equal to the midpoint of diagonal BD. And solving that, we got the values of X and Y coordinate of the vertex D. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video. If you know any other way of solving this example, do comment below. And if you are liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.